I don't really talk too much about the weirdest things that ever happened to me, but with the stories to come, that should put that into perspective. Back in the day, oh, as we learned, a man was not considered to be considered to be Has he not got a bail? Okay, uh, to get on with the grandest of stories. The story. Um, this is the story of Ragnarok. Okay. This it's is awesome. the story that started it all. Um, it was February 29th of 2004. It was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> well, actually, it was very cold and crisp, but very clear. Um, <laughs> now you know it's both. You fucking run. But, uh, the day that shouldn't have existed. This It was a leap year day, which I thought was kind of funny, uh, <laughs> given what happened later on. Um, Foreshadowing. Yes. Yeah. We were on a raid um, to kill or capture a local arms dealer in a village called uh, on or no 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 it was Gabara Bed, um, about 25 kilometers north of Mosul, which is in mid northern Iraq. Um, so, it's a small podunk little town of maybe 50 people. Two blocks is all this town is comprised of. Um, and we have to cord a, cordon off one of those blocks so that we can get to dude it somewhere inside it. Can't let anyone get in or out. So, uh, myself and my team leader are positioned in an alleyway, dead center in the middle of the town. Um, and so we're sitting there, bored out of our minds, just kind of chit chatting. How you doing? How's the family? Da, 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 da. And uh, then the lights come on, uh, lining out our night vision, so we have to flip them up. And across the street is another alley identical to ours um, that now we can't see. So, fuck, this is inconvenient. Don't you hate those little job annoyances? You know, those things that might get you killed? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so um, we're just kind of standing there, and then um, this thing comes flying out of the alleyway across the street from where we were. And earlier in that day, uh, kids have been throwing rocks at us. Ah, fucking kids. So, Shit bags. Yeah, so I walk up to the rock to go and throw it back at them, because that's what we did out there. Uh -oh. And as I'm walking up to it... Oh... The rock is about as far away from my foot as his foot is, and um, as I get to this point, I realize there are sparks coming out of that rock. <laughs> <laughs> this Ross is not normal. <laughs> this is an oddity. Spark rock. And then I realize this rock looks like a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I have dun, about dun, enough dun, time dun, to dun. go, oh shit, before the thing... Boom. <laughs> I'm picked up, thrown across the alleyway into my team leader, who hits the wall. The back of his helmet hits the back of his head, so he passes out. I hit the wall and land on the floor in a seated position. Going, ow! Who spears this? It's in the back. It's been in there for a long time. Yours now. Yep. Yep. You are a winner. So, when it arms me, I'm sitting there stunned and I can't hear a thing. And I see somebody come running across, or running around the corner and stumbling over something. <laughs> <Dumbass>. <laughs> what do you trip? That's a boot. Holy God, thing blew me out of my shoes. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> There's something in that boot. <laughs> I look down, and from here down is gone. Gone. G-O-N. E. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear to God, the first thing that went through my head with the cheeky English accent and everything is, I'm going to go my legs off. <laughs> 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 and right as I'm thinking that, I'm kind of looking up into 
wherever in disbelief, and I see a line of dudes on the adjacent roof with AK-47s. Are you? Well, they're taking a bead on my platoon. My platoon, however, was somehow under the impression that the grenade had come from the dude with all the guns somewhere inside the cordon. So they were facing the opposite direction. Um, go for it. So I'm looking. Uh, <laughs> um. Hey. Which other those possible? dudes just blew my leg off. <laughs> Fuck well, them. Man, the so oh, I do well, what any guy. I guess, would do, um, I got pissed off. So um, I took my machine gun and I kind of planted it and I shuffled myself up into a kind of seated, like an iron chair position. Certainly not standing. But it was a pseudo standing position. It was, it was kind of... You'll hear it. It was sit tanding, I think. <laughs> for it. But I was leaning on the wall uh, on my leg. And uh, yeah, good one. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty pissed at this point. So I let off just one huge burst, um, and the initial burst was the only burst that ever did any good to anybody, except of course the guys that took that end of it. <laughs> but we don't think about that. Rat attack, attack, mofo. So because um, the first guy got. Um, got shot across the gut and he died pretty much instantly. Uh, second guy, a little higher up. Third guy, a bit higher up. Fourth guy, across the neck. Fifth guy got three rounds in his head. Uh, Your tax and dollars, huh? was not me, so he didn't survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, see, he got shot in the head. He got... He got shot. 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 I'm sure there so, was an eye shot there somewhere. That oh, oh yeah. There, there, yeah. He, no, it, boom headshot would have been appropriate in that one instance. Boom headshot! <laughs> um, and uh, so I'm just screaming madly at this point because I'm in a fit of pain, rage, and euphoria for some reason because all the adrenaline is finally starting to pump through my arms. Um, yeah, yeah, well, and at this point... Um, we have a problem because my arm has a compound fracture here, uh, which due to the vibrations of 975 rounds a minute going through my arm, uh, turns into a clean break. So I... Compound meaning actually jutting out of skin, correct? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. yet. That's the yeah. best part. It's not, it's it's the just listen. Part. That gives me yeah. hope. And, well, <laughs> the way I like to think of it is, for that one moment, I was the lucky recipient of a brand new second elbow. <laughs> <laughs> because this part of my arm went, whap, and this part stayed the same place. <laughs> So, <laughs> at which point my machine gun went whomp, and I'm shooting pretty much straight up in the air, just kind of going wherever, but I don't care because I'm pissed off. Like an angry fire out. Yes, very angry, very horrible fire <laughs> yeah. And uh, at which point uh, the rest of my platoon goes, what the fuck is Tribble shooting at? Fucking dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> bap, 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 bap. Alert. At which point my team leader wakes up and goes, holy fuck. Bap, 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 bap. <laughs> it's going mad. I run out of ammo, so I'm just kind of... At this point, I'm back in a seated position. And I grab a thing. I can't... My arm... Fuck. Put the thing down, unhook, grab ammo, take off old ammo, put on new ammo. Be ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> ow! <laughs> ow! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So at this point, I've just given up on aiming. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the last thing you want to do when you have a gun. So it, it was pretty much one of those, why did you shoot that? It, it was in front of me. <laughs> I don't know, I have one leg, man. I have my mind on other things. <laughs> Your foot over there. Yeah, so... Um, I run out of ammo again, and uh, because this has become a protracted firefight, um, 
my team leader has noticed that I've run out of ammo and he needs to reload, so he, in order to keep continuous fire, he's going, Tribble, reload! Tribble, reload! What the fuck? Not having looked at me once since the incident occurred, because he's had other things to think about. <laughs> he looks over at me and goes, ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Tribble! Tribble! <laughs> I think I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Holy fu- Holy <laughs> So he goes running away, <laughs> screaming for the medic. Medic comes running over, and now medics are a very professional breed. They are trained from day one. You come across an injured soldier, the first thing you say to them is, eh. You're going to be fine. <laughs> yep. My medic is a very interesting fellow. Because all of that training, somewhere between the training and now, gone. <laughs> so he walks up to me, turns the corner, looks at me and goes, ah! Holy fuck, man! <laughs> Holy shit! That's bad when your medic says Dude, that. Dude! I don't even know what to do about that! Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Oh my god! Dude! You went to school for like a long time for this shit! Come on, man! He goes, ah, it's good, you'll be fine. Where's the rest of your leg? <laughs> Over there somewhere! I'm here though! Let's stop this bleeding or something! Do a medic thing! <laughs> something! Uber charge me! Yeah. <laughs> Now, fortunately, uh, the, uh, I was so close to the explosion that the explosion itself cauterized my wounds. So I wasn't bleeding too profusely, but needless to say, I was in a bit of a puddle. So he comes up, he cuts my pants off up to like right here because he doesn't want to see my package. And he tur ties a tourniquet on me. And at which point, when I realized he didn't go all the way up because he's a little homophobic, what happened to my balls? Oh god! <laughs> Doc! Doc, you gotta check my balls, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> check my balls, Doc. You gotta check my balls. Oh god! I don't see any bleeding. I think you're fine. Check them! <laughs> Look at my testicles! Look at them! <laughs> what do you want me to do? I don't know. Feel around for something? <laughs> I don't want to feel up your balls, man. <laughs> Doc, just check my balls. I just need no. Fine. He actually said, huh, when he squeezed my balls. He said, you're fine. <laughs> So, uh, th at this point, despite all the rage and comedy and everything else that was going through my brain, uh, this little gnawing thought came into this side of my head. The side where you were shot. With the yes. bullet. <laughs> uh, mortality side. Uh, I might die. Oh fuck, I might die from this shit. <laughs> At which point I start freaking out, of course, and everybody's like, stop, stop, fuck it, stop, stop, okay. <laughs> so they pick me up, they run me over to the nearest striker, they toss me in. And when I say they tossed me in, they tossed me in. <laughs> What's a striker? Is that a helicopter? Uh, a striker is an innate wheeled 12 ton armored vehicle it's capable of moving 90 like miles a, an hour. Like an APC. Like an APC. Yes. A cross between an APC and a light tank, basically, is the way it's been put in. Oh, get it. It's a So it's like a rhino from Warhammer 40k. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Right. Do you have a so, 120 millimeter cannon? <laughs> Oh, okay. But uh, anyway, so they the, the ramp was down, and they tossed me unceremoniously in like a sack of potatoes. The rest of my squad was already in the striker at this point and didn't know what happened to me. So I come flying <laughs> in the striker, bounce off of them onto the floor. They go, oh, my God. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah! 
I picked door number three. <laughs> Bad choice. Do not pick the door of destiny. Do not pick the door of destiny. So, um, we we go to Xville and um, what the fuck is Xville? Uh, get the fuck out. Exfiltrate. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, army jargon. It happens. It's um, cool. But at this point, m- the medic gets the bright idea the rest of his leg. He might need that for later. <laughs> Rebs it. The ramp's already going up because they need to get the fuck out and get me to a helicopter or something. Something to take me to doctors. <laughs> he grabs it. Ramp's going up. He tosses it. <laughs> at me. And I watch as the boot comes flying. Whap. <laughs> Square on my nose. Breaking it. Got kicked with your own leg. So that, your own it was a waffle. When I say flat on my face, it, there was a waffle pattern on my on my forehead for two days. Someone actually gave himself a good foot stomp. In the <laughs> Seriously, I broke my own nose with, your own with my leg. leg. With the bottom of your foot. Yeah. Oh God! I realized the, the gravity of that situation, and the last thing the medic hears before the driver drives off is. That was fucking awesome! I just kicked my own ass! That's awesome! So cool! So we get to the, the helicopter pad, and I'm laying there, waiting for the helicopter to show up, because I'm kind of hurting now. It hurts. Let's just say that. And the helicopter shows up, so they unceremoniously toss me into the helicopter. <laughs> hey, he's not going to feel anything. He's not our problem anymore. And so the, the the lady manning the machine gun at the door of the helicopter looks at me, looks at my leg, looks at me, goes, hard night. <laughs> <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just going to sit here and bleed. <laughs> so we take off, and this is the first time I've really been in a helicopter in theater, so I want to see what it looks like from 500 feet. So I'm looking out the window, because this is fucking rad. And she goes, don't look at it. What? Don't look at it. I'm not. Smack, don't look at it. Okay, it was the view. It was pretty. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were talking about your leg. No, it's not there to look at. <laughs> so we land, and I got felt up by some nurses, which was nice. And uh, they put me under for surgery. Um, they didn't think about how my metabolism would be affected by being under strenuous physical activity and eating very little. Um, for a protracted period of time. So I woke up in the middle of surgery. Um, oh. Didn't know where I was. So, of course, being an infantryman and having all kinds of strange people doing things to my body, I freaked out. Um, I remember punching somebody. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody grabbing me and me grabbing them. And somebody screaming, put him, in, put him back under, put him back under, oh my god. <laughs> And then I woke up a couple days later in a hospital bed to a lady that looked familiar at the bottom of the bed. And she looked at me and she says, how are you feeling? Could be better. Why? She says, well, I just thought you'd like to know. You woke up in surgery. There were some complications. What's wrong? Well, one of my orderlies has a broken jaw. The other one has a broken arm. I just thought you'd like to apologize to me. (laughs) I just had my leg blown off, lady. (laughs) Fair. So, yeah, it took me about a month to... uh, they, They actually were able to put the thing back on. Which is amazing to me. I don't even know how that works. Because they did it in field. Yeah, because it was in field. They put in a new knee and everything. And it it was just fucking amazing. Wow. So, um... Still got a scar? A few. They're... they're, I prefer not to show them around. But, uh... Fair enough. Yeah, it was, uh... It was pretty gnarly. And then, uh... Three months later, I was back on the line doing my thing. 
Chicken ass. Yeah. Let's say I've seen the action reports. I can verify the story. Yeah. Is that it? He is no. Googleable. So, like, you actually grabbed his. Okay. To set. Despite Ugh. that motherfucker who won the luck card at uh, the Fallout 3 presentation, you are the luckiest motherfucker on. At, fuck. At PAX, maybe in the whole fucking world. To set. To set. The Invincible. Set the Invincible. In fact, I don't think there's a better fucking story at PAX. Even the guy who won the Bioware competition. Fucking hands down, down dude. And what award did we win for that one, Mr. Seth? Hmm? What award did we win for that one? Uh, we won a, um, a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star with Valor for single-handedly suppressing an ambush while injured. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, genuine, a real American war hero right here. Seth Trevor. Not my funniest of stories, but still very awesome. Yeah. Awesome and a half, I must say. Thank you. So, yeah. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. <laughs> Joe! <laughs>